What's up everyone, Patrick here. And in this next question, what we got to do is take this expression here and simplify it. So we got three root 32 plus six root 48 minus two root eight minus two root 12. So what you want to do with a question like this is first take all the radicals and see if you could simplify them. So notice how root 32, this can simplify here. We can take this and we can split it up into root 16 times root two. Now root 16 would be four, and then we'd have root two there. So root 32 and then four root two are the exact same thing. So we could take this and rewrite it as four root two. And same thing here, root 48, what is that gonna simplify to? Well, notice that 16 would go into that as well. So we could take this and do root 16 times root three. Right, 16 times three is 48, and this would end up being four root three. You could also do this in multiple steps. So like um, root 48, if sometimes you can't get to this larger rootable perfect square number, you can notice that root 48, that simplifies to what? Uh, root four times root 12, right? And then root four is what? Two, actually, you know what? Let's keep the root four for now. So we got root four times root 12, which is root 48. And then notice that the 12, the root 12, we can simplify that to root four times root three, like that. And then notice root four is two, root four is two, two times two is four, and we end up with four root three, right? So sometimes it may take a couple of steps for you to get to that simplified uh, expression. Here, I just went directly to root 16. Right, so root 48 is four root three, and then we'll have minus two root eight. Now root eight, that simplifies to what? Uh, root four times root two, which is two root two. So this would be two root two. And then root 12, that simplifies to root four times root three. We have that over here as well, so two root three. So two root three, root 12, those are the same thing. And the reason why you want to simplify these like this is because then you could potentially end up with like terms. So here, 3 times 4 is 12, so we'd have 12 root 2, 24 root 3, minus 4 root 2, minus 4 root 3. And like terms, when you're dealing with radicals, have the same radical. So notice that this is a root two, this is a root two. So these two expressions are like terms. And then we have a root three, root three. So these two expressions are like terms. So to net them out, 12 root two minus four root two, you just uh, work with the coefficients in front. So 12 minus four is eight. So we'd have eight and then the root two stays as is. 24 root three minus four root three, that would give us uh, 20 root three. And then these two aren't like terms because the radicals are different. So we can't further simplify this over here. So this ends up being the simplified expression for that.